Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now... This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's Richard first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. All right, Griffin, we're losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Under 
three minutes remain in round one. Ooh, big shot lands. Powerful leg kick lands. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Under two minutes now to go. Back to the feet now. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big head kick there. Man! Slips. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, hurt him. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you because every moment you're trying to throw to knock the opponent out, when you're just catching air, it, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Ten seconds to go. Nice punch land over the top. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of it. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final game? Kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Great punch. Watch the strike lands, but... My, my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his opponent's head snapping back. You can see the effect the punches were taking. Now he may as well just smack him in the arm like, good job, guy. What a fight. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent. Oh! Back. He's out! He's done! He's done! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest. A two minutes of round number two. Playing the winner by...